Hello guys, today we are here to present you about the Makers Valley project. Uh, and the uh, issue we have chosen is water about the Makers Valley, which is in South Africa, Jonesburg. Uh, water, as, as we can say, is like as a main global issue, and which is getting worse each year. And uh, we can say like after the natural resources such as floods and storms, humans are the main cause of uh, water problem in, in a form of global warming, war uh, and other industrial and ag agriculture uh, way. As we know that according to research and scientists suggest that like almost 25% of world population um, are facing currently like water crisis. So coming to the Makers Valley project, we have got some issues regarding the water in uh, as a whole Johnsburg. As we know that uh, Johnsburg itself doesn't have any natural source of uh, water, so. It gets from was water from the neighboring country, which is uh, Lesesto. And according to, again, Makers Valley report, suggests that like, in 10 years' time, this op option will be no more uh, for Makers Valley and the populations in Johnsburg. As water uh, problem is getting serious, so we have to find some solutions or how we manage uh, this uh, crisis in the future, like in the shape of what I suggest, like, and read, uh, went through the reports on Megas Valley, I knew, like, I found out, sorry, to know that only 4% of uh, Megas Valley's population is uh, highly educated, like, uh, so it's, it's a big, uh, it's a big issue, like, to make people literate and aware of usage and uh, uh, how to take control of water in a proper way, like to, we can say uh, there should be more wind of a more, uh, of more we can, uh, government level basis in a shape of dams. And uh, uh, we will discuss more about these issues uh, as our, our call my colleague Mr. Ali to explain more about the other issues such as natural resources. Thank you. Natural resources. The Jukski River is one of the biggest rivers in Johannesburg and one of the main uh, water resources. But the water has, uh, has been contaminated due to sewage and blockage uh, of the river. The main, re uh, the main resource, uh, source of water comes from uh, rainfall. However, the climate in South Africa is very dry and in recent years there have been several periods of extended droughts. These droughts have several limited and the main source in, the, in South Africa climate change. As you can see, these two pictures so, uh, shows you that the, the water in, uh, in Dukesky River is polluted. Uh, due to that, drinking water in Johannesburg is, is polluted with microplastics. Substantial amount of uh, microplastics were found in tap water and in rivers. Bits of plastic less than 5 millimeters in size were found in uh, drinking water and tap water. Due to that, this causes uh, health and disease. And here my friend is going to uh, talk about disease. The diseases that can lead to contaminated water um, are a lot. For example, three that I want to talk about today are cholera, diarrhea, and hepatitis A. Cholera, this type of disease, can lead to dehydration and even worse, can lead to death. Diarrhea, for this disease, this is when the stool um, is loose and watery. Um, diarrhea can cause frequent and urgent desires to go to the toilet. Hepatitis A is a present in the faces or infected persons and is most often transmitted through consumption 
of her contaminated water or food. And did you know, 75% uh, of Africa drinking water comes from groundwater. So this means that um, even if drinking little can um, also damage your body. That no, most of the water is um, uh, no, uh, non purified. And that's it for me. And now I'm going to bring it to Michael. The main problem with water in major families is that there's not enough of it. There's so little water in South Africa that the government have implemented a 50 litre uh, maximum amount of water per person per day. 50 litres of water per person is simply not enough. The average shower for Marity Second uses 45 litres of water. Imagine having to use 5 litres of water for the rest of the day. You just simply can't. As you can see, 450 million litres for one city per day is just ridiculous. That's never enough for a whole city. And again, in the UK, the average water per day is around 300 to 400 litres. And still, a lot of people use a lot more than that. So 50 litres is just shown to be not enough for a single person per day. My colleague Mohibar will now explain our solution to combat the water issues in Makers Valley. To combat the water crisis in Makers Valley, we have come up with a product called Aqua Infinity. Aqua Infinity is a water bowl which basically cleans dirty water into clean water. As you can see, the dirty water has been inserted from the top, filled from the middle, and clean water comes out the bottom. Also, the bottom is metal. This is so, once it's boiled, it kills bacteria and other pathogens by damaging structural components and disrupting essential life processes. There are also two rubber handles on the side. This is for this is so you can hold it easily without your hand getting burned, without harming yourself. As well, the, the middle is twist off so you can separate the dirty water from the clean water. We all, I also made three, size, three different sizes. The first size is small, that's for drinking water. Second size is for is, uh, clean, it's for cleaning dishes, cleaning anything to be honest. Third size is for showering, bathing, so yeah. Also, this, is, this can be used in many other cases, not only in Maker Valley. It can be used for camping, can be used for hiking, anyone can use this product, not only people in Africa. So yeah, thank you for listening. It has been a pleasure.